I want to get to your questions now. Don't be shy. Raise that hand. I've got a few questions appearing already. But again, everything we cover from this point forward is what you want to know. John has a question. I need a lat security structure. Does that mean lateral? Where a user logs into their page and can see and edit the contents of that page. Probably easy, but I'm new. Yeah, so um, what kind of user, what kind of site are you looking to create, John? What are you trying to do? Let's see. You know, let me point something out to all of our users here today, all of our attendees. If I go to cloudaccess.net, we do have a knowledge base. Go to training and Joomla knowledge base. We have hundreds of videos and uh, documents that you can browse through. Go to Joomla 2.5. And John, you should let me know what version of Joomla you're using as well. You're going to want to go visit this user manager area. John and go through uh, our different articles on creating user groups and adding permission settings. John's got a hand up. Hi, John. Hi. Uh, sorry, it took me a while to figure out how to do this. That's all uh, right. Basically, it's a it's a it's a, um, a fitness site, uh, and the idea is that uh, a user would sign up, log in to their page, have their own. Uh, Routines would track their progress, etc., cetera, etc., cetera. and they would have access, of course, to the general site information. But once they get into their their portion of the site, uh, they can edit and add things. Uh, and I I looked through some of the things. I really couldn't see how I could. Uh, it, these menus seem to be, or the popular structures seem to be hierarchical, whereas I need to have 100 users, each with their own page, if you like. Okay, now will, will other users be able to see all user pages? or? No, no, that's, that's the point, is that uh, a okay. user has their own page, no one else has access to it. All right, and what type of information are they uploading? Uh, they would be, as I said, uh, they, would, they would be given their programs tailored to, to, the, to them. Uh, they would track their progress in various tables and so on on their page, uh, and they, they really wouldn't be uploading anything significant. I see. So they might be completing a form where they're sure. uh, for sure. fitness and. Videos that are specifically made for them. I see. I see. Cool. Very cool. So you're kind of like going to build a an online personal training site. Correct. Exactly. That's cool. That's a cool idea. I don't know that I've ever really heard of that before. Uh, this is my son's idea, and uh, he says he hasn't seen it yet. Yeah, well, I won't steal your idea. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm going to put you on mute. Actually, John, where are you attending hey, from today? I have one more, uh, one more question, uh, it's not related to this, but uh, might as well get in it while well, I have the mic. Uh, I uh added the uh, all videos plugin and I can link to videos on YouTube I can embed a video but I cannot play a local video which I need to do uh, and I wonder if there's some setup I'm missing or okay I can, I can give you the message I get if you like. yeah um, actually if you have a URL send me that URL I can go look okay. at the site um, uh, there's nothing much in the site. Uh, it's very. I'm just playing with how to get things done. But sure, sure. I understand. Where, John? Where are you attending from today? Uh, uh, right now, I'm in Texas. Oh, okay. Right on. Well, I'm going to put you on mute here. I want to talk very briefly about the um, user manager. Actually, John, do you have a 2.5 or a 3.0 site? 2.5. Okay. So we have a 2.5 site, and so here's your back end. Um, what you're going to want to do is spend some time in the user manager. So go to users, user manager. We already have a few users here. Um, I'm the super user, and this might be what your site looks like right now, just the super user, the person who creates the site. I added these users in a previous webinar. but um, You're going to want to spend some time in the overall user manager. Get used to access levels. 
user groups and your users. So first let's go to the access level. Um, you can create an access level for each user. So for instance, if, if it's completely private to them, you're going to want a completely private access level. I'm going to click on the new button here to create a new access level and I'm going to title this one John. And um, below you'll, you'll see which groups have access to this access level. I'm going to save and close this for now. Uh, and and there's, so no groups are in the John access level. Now I'm going to come to the user groups area and I'm going to create a new user group and this is going to be for John. Now you could set up your groups um, for each individual user and then have just one access level for um, your uh, you know your your clients so it could be a clients access level and then have each individual user group be their own their own group so that way it's exclusive just to them um, a number of ways to kind of organize this um, now let's open up John again as the user notice how John will have a parent group you can put John in one of these uh, pre-made groups which will give John different permissions. Let's put John into, um, let's see, into registered. So John is going to inherit any permissions that the registered group gets. So this is the John group, remember. Let's go to our users. And we can, we can add, you know, we already have the John with no H here. It's the guy who sits in the office next to me. I don't know why I always use his name. But, um, you can, let's say you have this type of user menu on the front end where we create an account. And we can log in. Let's create a, a user for John. Give John a username and a password. Confirm that password. And uh, we have some additional information down here. We enabled an additional plugin where we can uh, you know, capture more information. And in fact, you could create a custom registration form. You know, if you wanted to capture specific information for the fitness side of that, you know, height, weight, um, oh, I don't know. They could add something about their goals. You know, you could get an extension to help you with that. Let's go ahead and click on register, though. And John's going to receive this blue message saying that, you know, an activation link has been sent. This process is a, is a self automated process where that user activates their own account. I'm going to come back to users here in the back end and notice that John is already here. John hasn't checked his email or activated his account. If you want to play with that, you can come to the options button here and um, new user account activation. You can make this none where the account is automatically generated or make it an admin approval where you have to approve that. Uh, let's just leave it at self right now and save and close. So John's here. Let's say John has en enabled and activated his own account. Let's open up John as a user. And which user group should he be in? Well, he's in registered, but let's go ahead and put him in the John group anyway, all by himself. Let's save and close. And then let's go back to the access levels here. Now, um, open up the John access level. Which user group is going to have access to this? Well, just John. So let's save and close that and you know um, let's do this let's create a menu let's create a menu I'm gonna go to the menu menu manager I'm gonna call this John's menu and this will be for John you make this exclusive to each of your user your user might be their first and last name maybe an ID number there so here's John's menu um, I'm going to go and go to Content and Article Manager. Let's add a new article. And I'm just going to call this John's Article. I'm going to go search the internet for lorem ipsum, get some of that filler text. Just going to grab a paragraph here. Remember, it doesn't mean anything. It just fills up spaces, right? I'm actually going to paste it in a notepad because I'm going to erase any formatting that might come with this page too. Some of that stuff is potentially damaging to the site, so let's get that out of there and return to Joomla. Let's paste in a paragraph for John's article. 
and actually I need to put this in a category. I probably should have created a separate category just for John as well. Let's put it in galleries for now and save and close. I'm going to go to categories. I'm going to create a separate category just for John. Let's click on new. One thing I want to point out here is the title's the only thing you need. But if we create a category just for John, let's restrict access to this to just the John group. So only John group members with the John access level can see John's category. Let's save and close and let's go back to our articles here and open up John's article and do the same thing. First we'll save it into John's category and we'll change access to just to uh, John and save and close. Now I'm going to make a menu item on, on our menu. So let's go to John's menu. We have no menu items. I'll do new menu item type. I'll just do a single article to feature John's. Call it John's article. Um, and access is going to be not public, but for just John. Let's select that article. Search for John's article. And select and save and close. And now after all that I need to do a module to feature John's menu. Let's do a new module. Let's do a menu module. I'm going to call it John's menu. I'm going to select a position. I'll just put it in the sidebar in the cloud base here. Sidebar A. Change access to that module. Only John can see it. I think this is what you're getting after. I don't want the DaVinci menu over here. I want John's menu. And let's save and close. So if we return to the front end and refresh, nothing's really going to happen. I'm going to go back to the home page. Let's use our login form. Let's go to access your account. And With a little luck, once we log in, we're going to see a menu appear over here off the right side, which is just John's menu. Let's log in. Here's John's menu. We can go see John's article. So here's John's article. Now, I've removed the main menu off of this page, and you could have, actually have a separate template for all of all your different users, which would be cool. Now, let's talk about permissions here. John is a registered group member. He can't edit anything here, right? So in the back end, if I go back to, let's go to Site and Global Configuration, you're going to want to spend some, uh, time in permissions. So here are the different groups we created, and here's the John group. Now here's John's permissions. He's a subchild, he's a child of the registered group, and his only permissions right now are to log in. However, we can give him different permissions. We can let John edit, which is something I think you want to do. And... Um, you could even have John be able to create. Super admin, this is again giving that back end access. You're going to want to review the different um, permission settings. Let's do edit own and edit state as well here. Remember here in the user manager, go to training, go to Joomla knowledge base and go to the user manager. Um, all of these articles kind of explain everything we just did. Okay, so let's return and um, we set those. Let's save and close. And if I come back here and refresh, notice how we have this little edit link now? Because we gave John that permission. He can actually click on this and, and edit that article. And you can have a form here where John uploads different information. And I hope this is kind of getting you right, getting you on the track. What you want, you could install an extension here, which is a form. Let's go to the extensions directory. Go to extensions.joomla.org, and there are over 10,000 extensions in the community. You may want to come down to, oh, let's see, um, let's do forms, let's search for forms. I know there's one very popular, there are several popular extensions out there for, for creating a form, but yeah, form maker here, this is for Joomla 2.5. Again, make sure it's compatible for your site. Looks like you could do lots of different forms with this. This is a commercial extension. It's going to cost some money, but you could make uh, use use the form and have it specific for each of your 
your users. Um, again, different types of questions. You can have uh, checkbox and radios, and then they can they can use uh, type in their own information too. So there's the smart former. This is a 1.5 extension, so it wouldn't work for your site. Um, super contact for zoo. It, you know, I mean, there's so many here. You're gonna have to just browse through. Um, there's one I know that's really popular called RS Forms. I think a lot of people have used RS Forms. Maybe it's RS Forms Pro. You can plug this into your site. No results found. Yeah, and it's just a matter of searching around. Now, John says, uh, I wish I was recording this. I am recording this, John, and I'm going to upload this to our YouTube channel when I'm done, and I'll let you know um, how to access that. Actually, let's show you now. YouTube.com forward slash cloud access. This is our YouTube channel. I'm going to upload today's webinar here. It takes a little bit of time to archive to my computer. You can kind of pause and go back through and learn at your own pace. And if you ever get stuck, just come on back to the webinar and we can kind of take a look. So John, did I did I help you at all get you going in the right direction? Oh, that's terrific. Thank you very much. I really appreciate that. So yeah. just, uh, now, uh, one sort of uh, question. So that any time someone uh, registers, uh, someone at the back end would have to go through and create all those permissions and so on for each user that signs in or that registers. Yeah, you'll kind of, over time, you'll, you'll probably develop a process for admitting them, but um, yeah, I think you will have to have an administrator back well, there. We're, we're not expecting thousands. So, so. Right. <laughs> not yet, anyway. Not yet. Not yet.